Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tourney here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. So first off, I'm going to speak just a little bit more quiet in this episode, guys. It is currently 1am in the morning, and the family is asleep, and I do not want to wake them up, but as you can probably tell... I'm pretty damn excited guys, there has just been a brand new leak on the internet as of a couple of hours ago and this is confirming one of the brand new features we will be receiving inside of the massive May 2017 Supercell Clash of Clans update. So this is your warning, in about 20 seconds time I'm going to show you a spoiler for the May 2017 update. If you do not want to see the spoiler, click off this episode right now and never return to this video guys, but if you want to see it Quickly take a guess in that comment section down below. What do you think I'm about to show you on screen, guys? Are you ready for this? No one's going to get this right because no one has been talking about this for the last four months, guys. Are you ready? Here we go. And there you have it. Would you believe it? The sunset has been confirmed. We are receiving a sunset inside of COC. All right, time to get serious, guys. So let me break this down for you. This may be a little bit confusing. A couple of hours ago, there was a new trailer, an official Supercell COC trailer leaked on the World Wide Web, and it was discovered by none other than Chief Spencer. He then downloaded the video or took the video, uploaded it onto Reddit, and there has been a lot of attention on it so far, guys. Now, this trailer is 33 seconds in length. I'm not going to show you the video, show you the trailer in this episode, guys, because I don't want to get in trouble by Supercell. So instead, what I've done is grab a couple of screenshots which best kind of demonstrate what the trailer is all about. So over the next five minutes, I'm going to talk about what the trailer is about, what it means for us, the community, what it means for us, what could possibly be coming into the game. And then we are going to do an update discussion at the end of this episode, guys, and try and figure out what this shipwreck means. So the first thing to say is, I'm pretty damn certain that it is now 100% confirmed. Supercell would not make a trailer with a ship if they were trolling us. Because, you know, there has been a lot of controversy over the last two weeks. People have been saying, is it all just a big troll or Supercell tricking us and we're not going to be getting a ship? That's obviously out the window now, guys. We're definitely going to be getting a ship, but what is it going to do? Okay, so now comes the interesting part of the episode, guys. By the way, if you have made it this far into the video, please make sure you do subscribe to the channel. We've just smashed our way past 1,500,000 subs. Leave a like on the episode, guys, if you were subscribed to the channel before 1.5 million. So let's get into the important part, as I said. So there is the ship right in front of us. Now let's break down this image and see what it actually tells us. So there are two characters, a wizard and a hog. And then the rider, who's obviously, you know, controlling the boat because the hog is still, you know, a, a character in the game. It's, it's not the hog rider. The hog and the rider are two characters in the game, as you've seen from many trailers. So the hog is driving the ship. Now, the ship is only small, guys. There's no weapons on it. So I'm pretty sure that confirms that the ship will not be a troop in the game. The ship is not going to be a troop. That's my opinion. There's no weapons on it. It doesn't appear to have any sort of attacking or even defense mechanisms. So I think it's pretty much guaranteed that this ship is going to be taking us to another village or another island. So the trailer itself is just over 30 seconds in length. But if you do get the chance to watch it, if you are lucky enough to watch it, you won't be able to understand what is being said because the trailer is in Japanese. But luckily for you, my subscribers, we've got a translation and I can tell you exactly what is said in the trailer, guys. So listen up closely because this is very interesting. So the Hog Rider starts off the trailer by saying, Hey everyone, what do you think is on the other side of the sea? Then his pig, the pig responds by saying, I don't know. Then the wizard says, first of all, how do we even get there? Then the Hog Rider says, Hey Barbarian, do you have any good ideas? Then the Barbarian ends up running into the sea and basically drowns. Then the wizard says, it looks like we'll be using a boat. And then the pig comes in the boat and goes, that's right. And then at the end of the trailer, it says, what's on the other side of the sea? So now this is where it gets interesting, guys. What is on the other side of that sea? As you can see, there is a sunset. And that is causing a great discussion. Could we be getting night mode? Is this village the day, boat, the day mode and uh, the other side of the sea, the place where the boat takes us, the beautiful paradise? Could that be night mode? Could that be something completely different? So now that we've kind of analyzed the image, guys, it is time to get into my opinion on the update discussion and what I think this boat is going to represent for us, the daily COC community, you know, the daily players who want something extra in the game. So sit back, guys, 
you know, kind of interact with me and let me know what you think about my personal opinion. So, so far, we've got a ship. That's confirmed. And it does look like there is going to be a night mode or some sort of different diverse mode added into the game. But what is this ship going to do? My opinion, the ship is a very basic tool, just a tool. It's got no attack mechanism, no defense mechanism. It's just a tool. It's going to take you from A to B. And that's pretty much just going to be all for the ship. So the, so the ship itself doesn't really seem too important. But let's get on to what could possibly actually be coming and uh, what the ship could represent. Okay, now this is just my opinion, guys. So please bear that in mind. It could be a very, uh, very drastic opinion. But this is what I think the ship is going to do. So the ship is going to take us to an island or to some sort of, you know, mystic land where we can team up with our clan mates and we can all take part in a competitive game mode, maybe take on the same base. It could be similar to an extension of single player. However, it is a multiplayer tournament, guys, or even something in the way of a league. Now, the reason why I say this is the reason why this is my guess. Earlier on, uh, Galadon actually uploaded a video and he talked about Clash Royale really starting to join esports now. Supercell pitting up a million dollars in prizes. Now, obviously, Clash Royale is a little bit more competitive and different to, you know, COC because COC is definitely something which isn't as popular in terms of how competitive it is compared to Royale. So maybe Supercell are starting to incorporate a game mode which allows a greater competitive edge between clans and that could become a part of esports, guys. So the reason why I believe it is going to be like some sort of clan you know, participation where you and maybe five, six of your friends can go ahead, take on some villages and possibly get ranked in some sort of league. Now, the greatest thing about this is there has been a lot of discussion on Reddit, on the forums, and I have been reading a lot of posts, guys, and some people have some really awesome ideas. For example, this one guy said that it is very similar to what I just described, except you're also always going to have heroes up. You may have access to a wider variety of troops, even if you are not that town hall level, just to make it a little bit more balanced. And of course, at the end of the day, you can always sail back home to your lovely little village, which is 100% yours. Now, just to be clear with everyone listening to this episode, guys, this game is at the end of the day a business. Supercell is a business and a business needs to, you know, extend its profit margins in order to keep growing. Now, in order to do that, esports is a very important feature, a very important, you know, section for Supercell to go down into and delve into because it will allow expansion of the game. It will bring in new players and it brings that competitive edge which every single game needs in order to survive. Now I don't know if many of you know this but in 2022 there is going to be a new Olympic Games and apparently esports is going to be part of that so you never know you could see Supercell in the Olympics soon to come and of course that will bring great exposure so esports is a huge huge thing which many games are focusing on these days it's going to bring so much more revenue such a higher turnover into the game and of course just allow expansion and pretty much create advertisement for the game and the company itself guys and at the end of the day supercell as i said is a business every business has an aim which is to grow bigger larger and you know make a higher turnover that's just how the world works and it's awesome because at the end of the day if it does bring you know esports into coc into clash royale it brings a competitive edge and it also means more updates for us, you know, even the players who don't want to compete in the esports and stuff. But it's awesome. It really is an awesome feature. But let's go back into the discussion. What else could the ship actually mean and what else could be coming into the game, hopefully over the next two weeks? So one thing I've been thinking about since I've been recording this episode over the last hour is that Supercell is so unpredictable you can never put a finger on what they may be bringing into the game. For example, Town Hall 11 was completely outrageous to a lot of people but they still incorporated it into the game and it has worked perfectly so I wouldn't say you can rule anything out. Now one really controversial idea which a lot of you may love and some of you may hate is the following. Some people have been talking about a super village and this super village is built by maybe dozens of clan members, maybe dozens of your clan members and how it works is this is just an idea of what the ship will represent. How it works is you will put your own personal resources onto the ship. 
the ship will then be sent over to the you know the super village and you will build a super village and pretty much build it up from scratch guys this is going to be a team you know a team you know a team village which pretty much takes a lot of work but from dozens of different team members maybe even the total 50 man clan you never know guys and then your super village may be able to compete in some sort of clan tournament against other super villages and it could be ranked in that way and then of course in order to take down a super village maybe you need five six seven eight clan members to attack some other clan super village so that could be a really cool idea as i said definitely do not rule anything else supercell is so unpredictable i mean just look at the update we got guys the last update we got major update i'm not talking about balance change was on december i think it was a couple of days before christmas just before christmas guys we received a huge update and that update was over five months ago or almost five months ago so it's been pretty long i'm guessing this update is going to be pretty damn insane everyone's saying that it's going to be the biggest update the game has ever seen i believe that guys i truly do believe that i have no idea what's coming all i know is we're going to have a pig riding a ship that's pretty much it guys if you've made it all the way to the end of the episode please do me a favor let me know down below in that comment section what is your idea at what this ship represents do you think it's going to be a weapon do you think it could be some sort of defense or do you think the same as me it is a simple tool which is going to be used to maybe transport loot or maybe just simply, you know, be a cool little feature where you click the ship and it drives you to the other, or, you know, sells you to the other side of the world where you can have a super village. Let me know down below, guys. Leave a like on the episode and subscribe to the channel. I will see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Have a great evening. Peace out.